Thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are starting a brand new project. A little while ago, if you've been following my channel, you saw me make over my main bedroom, which was a very big project because it's a large room. And there was a door that I painted in that room that I didn't do anything behind that door. And that was my closet. This is the door that I'm talking about. It's right off of the bedroom. So this is my closet here. And believe it or not, I actually cleaned this like a month ago because I literally couldn't walk. My main issue here is all of these shoes. Like I, I have a good bit of shoes and I'm always trying to find the matching shoe and it makes me late. So I want better storage for this for sure. We also have long hanging here for dresses. I feel like this could be utilized better. This is all dead space down here. This is dead space up there. So we have a few other things that we have to um, take into account. This light here needs to be moved. I wanna add more lighting in here. We also have to take into account the air vent because I would like my clothes to continue to stay on this side so I can see them right when I come in the door. So that means they need to be on this side, that air vent needs to stay. Also is this window. It looks good on the front of the house. I like that there's a window there, but it's just eating up wall space here for storage. Like this could have extended all the way over there if there wasn't that window. It's kind of unnecessary. I don't really need it. So I'm gonna brainstorm some ideas for that. But before I can do anything else, before I can start making any plans, I need to get everything taken out of this closet so I can see the space that we're really working with and take a bunch of measurements so I can start planning things out.
Now that we've got everything cleared out of the closet and taken all of our measurements, we can finally start sitting down to make a plan. And I have been kind of torn when I've been looking at the design of this closet because it's just like any other project, I guess, where you can go as extravagant as you want. Even though it's a smaller closet, it can still get pretty pricey. So I'm really wanting to stick to a budget for this project. I want to make it look good. I want to make it look nice. But the main thing is I want it to be more functional. So I am trying not to spend too much, but I also don't want to just half do it. I want it to be done well. So keeping those finances in mind, I am excited to partner today with Rocket Money because they are here to help me with my budget. So Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you cancel your subscriptions, lower your bills, and just overall manage your money better. So I love using Rocket Money to set budgets. You can analyze your spending habits to create a custom budget that works with your lifestyle. So it will automatically monitor your spending by category and then it will send you notifications when you've exceeded the limit within that specific category. Another really cool feature of Rocket Money is it can cancel unwanted subscriptions. So it safely and securely identifies recurring charges and it will cancel those unwanted subscriptions for you and you can do it straight through the app. Rocket Money has helped its customers Customers save up to $740 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions alone. So if you want to save more and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. You can go to rocketmoney.com slash Romito, or you can click the link down in the description to get started for free. Okay, I've got the dimensions of my closet, so I just want to do like a real rough idea here. So I'm thinking this whole back wall here will be hanging clothes, but I want to do some like long clothes, like dresses and stuff. And then I want to do in the middle here, like um, some drawers that I could put my jewelry box on top of and then maybe some shelves on top of that. And then this will be short hanging with like double rods. And then over here, I want to do the rest of this all just shelves for all of my shoes. What I'm trying to figure out here is how far these shelves need to stick out for my clothes hangers and clothes to fit. And I think we need to do at least 22 inches, which causes a pretty big problem for us. And this is the problem. That is, the light is going to be right in the middle of like where I'm trying to hang stuff. So that's definitely gonna have to move, which is fine. We need more lighting in here anyway. As far as the vent there, I'm going to cut a hole through the top when I get to that point. So that's gonna stay the same. But the light, I'm thinking of just adding some like recessed lighting going off of this one. I'll just remove that one completely. And then I'll maybe have one there and one there. The lights are done. I'm not worried about this one over here because that is going to be covered by the top of these like built-in shelves here. And also if you're wondering why I did not center them, same reason. The built-in shelves are gonna come out, you know, to like right there probably. So it's gonna be centered hopefully with the edge of those shelves and the wall. Same thing for this one over here. I took into account that there are going to be shelves over there, so I centered it this way. 
So I think our next step in here will be to patch these little holes left from all of the like hanging wire shelves. I'm not worried about this. Again, that's gonna be covered, but I just stuck that thing in there because there's hot air coming down from the attic. We also have some nail pops going on. Again, those are going to be covered. So thankfully, not too much drywall work in here. Okay, the holes on the walls are all filled, at least the ones that are going to be showing at some point. So we can move on to the next part of this project, which is this wall right here. So I mentioned before that this window, I liked it on the outside of the house, but on the interior of the house, like this is just taking up space that I could use for shelving because I want shelving to come out to here and it's gonna block the window. So I think I have an idea for this window. I'm thinking that if I remove this right here and then I'm thinking of putting like a piece of plywood inside painted black. So out from outside the house, it just looks like a black window. And then I can cover this entire wall with a shiplap wall paneling. And then you won't know that that window is here from the inside and from the outside, it'll look completely normal. And that will allow us to have like shelving or whatever we need come out to here without it looking really strange that it just ends in the middle of this window. Okay, I wanted to check what the window would look like from the outside. I'm also going to check at night just to make sure that it doesn't look like a piece of plywood up in the window. You can't really tell because of the solar screens. But I also wanted to make sure it looked good even if someone decided to take the solar screens off like a um, future owner or something of the house and they won't be like, what in the world? It won't look bad like that. Okay, I added all of this tape and I turned out the light in here and you can still see some light coming through and I'm just a little worried that at night from the exterior, you're gonna see a strip of light like if my closet light is on or something. It's not a big deal, but while I still have it open, I'm going to use, I don't actually have any duct tape, but this is um, like HVAC tape. And so if I put that on top of here, hopefully will cancel out any of the light from going out. Okay, I'm not seeing any more light on here. But we're going to close this door right here and see if anything is coming through. I think we're good to go.
Okay, the plan was to put the shiplap wall panel up, but it has been raining all day, so I really don't want to go pick that up and it get rained on and bring it home, so we will just have to do that in next week's video, but I do want to talk paint colors. So these are the options that I'm looking at. This is the color of my bedroom currently, which is Sherwin-Williams Thunderous, and I'm not sure if I want to do like the entire space and all of the shelves and everything dark like this. I don't know. This is... These are all like Sherwin-Williams colors, which are, these are kind of like beige, grayish colors here that get kind of lighter. This is Jogging Path that I've used in my living room and other places. Um, and this is just like an off-white color. So let me know down in the comments what you think I should do. Should I continue the color from my bedroom or go with one of these here? But before we can get to any of these paint colors, we have to get this closet put back together. The shelves, the built-in drawers, all of those things I have plans, and that will be in next week's video that I'll show you guys the plans and we will start getting this closet built. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it and I will see you guys then, bye.